All right, there's the new ballast. Uh, 80 pound bag of concrete and uh, 30 pounds of steel weights. So that should get me pretty close to what was in there. And next I'll come back and pour some epoxy over this and then I'm going to glass it all in once it's completely cured. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so, I'm, right now I'm working on the bilge area. I'm trying to get all the bulkheads put in. As you already saw, I, I put in the concrete. It's been curing. I'm gonna let it cure for a little while longer. I put in these bulkheads and tabbed them in. Um, that one's fully glassed over. And next I'm going to, next I'll be replacing this bulkhead here. And there's another one here that I had to replace. And of course I'm gonna replace those that are ripped out once I have cleaned all that out. Uh, and then once those are all in place, I'm probably gonna add some new concrete down in there. Uh, maybe not concrete, I don't know yet. Just to bring the level up so that everything drains back over to here. Once all those, the bilge area is done and glassed over, I'll come back and put in these main bulkheads and yeah, go from there. So I went ahead and bought this full face respirator. Uh, it's 3M. I paid like 120 bucks for it, but I think it's well worth it. Anyways, I was dealing with those little smaller respirators and trying to wear goggles with them and then your goggles are just fogging up the whole time. and. Uh, I still, I didn't feel like it was getting a very good seal, and so, I mean, I could just, I just felt like I was breathing in dust, so I didn't want to risk it, so I decided just to go ahead and bite the bullet and go ahead and get one of these, and I'm pretty happy with it. It's very comfortable to wear, and uh, it seems to seal really good. So here in the next couple days, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to sand all this in here. Um, I've been trying to come up with a good way to manage all the dust, but there really isn't one, so I'm just gonna have to suit up and uh, just get after it with the grinder. So stay tuned for that, should be tons of fun. I added some additional um, glass to the hull here. Uh, it seemed a little thin on this side, that I, and actually I grinded out what looked like someone had um, did a repair right down here in this area or I took it all the way through and there was a hole there so I don't know if the boat hit something at one point or what but uh, it's patched up and should be good to go now so yeah thanks for watching everybody um, we have like 5300 subscribers now 
which is pretty awesome. That's a pretty huge audience for us anyways. We didn't, I don't know, we never really uh, intended to like have a big following. It was just mainly for us to kind of document um, what was going on with the boat and kind of to document our experiences. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I really appreciate all the comments. I read all of them. I'm pretty I'm bad about like responding to people, but um, I do read all the comments and I appreciate all the support. And even I appreciate the negative comments too because they kind of make me want to get back out here and get to work so I can prove you wrong, you know. But yeah, feel free to leave a comment, any advice you have, it's greatly appreciated. Because um, uh don't really know what I'm doing here, just kind of learning as I go. But thanks for following along and uh, stay tuned for more content. See ya.